Hi everyone, my name is Brian Lippiner and this is the RJ Today. Welcome to this Friday edition of the RJ Today. Here are our top stories. Crews began to remove a 100 foot tall sycamore tree on East Main Street in Meriden Wednesday. The tree was located in front of the Augusta Curtis Cultural Center and was estimated to be about 150 years old. Two state licensed arborists inspected the tree after a limb fell late last month. Arborists discovered a hollow danger zone in the trunk and recommended the tree be taken down due to safety concerns. Roadways and sidewalks were barricaded on the south side of East Main Street Wednesday as branches fell onto the sidewalk in the hillside. Wallingford plans to demolish the former C.F. Wooden Company building to construct a storage facility for the police department and add almost 80 public parking spaces. The storage facility is expected to be about 3,500 square feet. Wallingford police currently use the rear section of the Spanish community of Wallingford and C.T. STEM Academy building to store equipment. Once the equipment is moved, STEM Academy will be able to use the rear of the building, freeing up space for the Spanish community of Wallingford. Spanish community of Wallingford has grown in membership by 600% since 2010. The town of Cheshire has hired a search consultant to help find the town's next manager. Current Cheshire town manager Michael Milone plans to retire in June 2018. He has served in his role for more than 15 years. The town council hopes to hire the next town manager by 2018 and have that person shadow Milone during his remaining months. The search consultant contract will cost the town about $23,000. The family of a Southington teen is hoping to raise money following an ATV accident last month. Brian Catlin was injured while on vacation in Maine and has lost use of his body from the chest down. The family's goal is to raise money for ramps, a wheelchair accessible van, and other medical expenses. We're joined by Record Journal business reporter Mary Ellen Godin, and she's going to be talking to us about the uh, Mid-State Chamber of Commerce move. So, uh, how are you doing today, Mary Ellen? I'm well, Brian. How are you? <laughs> I'm great. Um, so, uh, maybe you could start off by telling us, you know, how long has the... Uh, Mid-State Chamber of Commerce has been located on uh, its original location in Colony Street. Yeah, I just asked Pres um, Chamber President Sean Moore that question, and he, um, he said decades. It's been um, at 5 Colony Street up until 2008, but it's always had a presence downtown, so this is pretty significant for them to be moving um, more toward the wallingford Meriden line. Um, actually, they'll be our neighbors. Yeah. And this is supposed to happen in September. Um, what happened was a doctor owns a suite over in that medical office building at 546 South Broad Street. And she donated it to economic development for economic development purposes. This is, you know, based on early findings. I'm, I'm getting this right now. Um, but the chamber isn't in a position to accept donations like that, but Medco, which is the Meriden, Meriden Economic Development Company, um, is in a position to accept and facilitate donations. So they accepted the do donation and in turn leased 1,200 square feet out to the uh, Chamber of Commerce. Now this is going to give them more parking, more space for some of their events, their meetings, their workshops, and Medco um, will also have um, space in that particular unit. So um, it's kind of a big move for them. They also promise to maintain a presence in the downtown, which they feel is, is, is important. And how are they going to do that? Um, it, according to Sean, that's my next big story. <laughs> he said they're working on several opportunities and he likes to leave me hanging or waiting for more. So according to him, it's going to be com something coming within the next few months. So what's the future for their uh, soon to be former spot down down? Well, that spot is owned by Shoreline Property Management, which is Christine Benito. And it, Sean has had a conversation with her this morning. Um, she said basically it was a good run for both of them. And right now there's a couple of offices in there. I believe there's a, an engineering company. Um, I could be wrong about that, but um, there there is office space. It's going to be available. Um, you know, as we know, there's a heavy emphasis on leasing out in the TOD zone, and this is sort of a prime spot for uh, downtown. Great. Well, Thank thanks for joining us today, Mary Ellen. Here's a look at your weekend weather forecast. The high temperature Friday will be about 83 degrees, according to the National Weather Service. There's a 40% chance of rain Friday night and Saturday. Thunderstorms are possible. Sunday's forecast calls for partly sunny skies and a high temperature near 84 degrees. 
Thanks for joining us again on the RJ Today. We'll see you Monday. Have a good weekend.